Damn, I'm nervous. Yeah. Hey, yeah, I can hear you all good. How are you? Alright, so this is me talking to my manager. And I'm actually about to quit my job. You know, I have no animosity towards you. You know, I'm putting my two weeks in. Question. But first, let me show y'all how we actually got here. That's the same thing as saying, I want to do something besides be what's already planned out. Plumber, doctor, lawyer, you know, dentist, there's a plan. This thing here is like a leap of faith and you just keep falling. All right, so I don't think y'all get it, but like I real life hated my job. Like every day I woke up, I was like, yeah, damn, that sounds bad as hell, but it's the truth. Like I was like, yeah, bro, I ain't even got to wake up right now for real. Cause it was just the same thing, like over and over and over and over again. Actually, let me just show y'all like what my job looked like. I'm gonna give y'all a little taste of what it really was like. You, editor Cam here. Um, so I'm not gonna show y'all what my day to day looked like, cause I'm making a whole separate video about it. So come back next week, and if it's after next week and you're watching this video, click right there in that corner. And you'll find the video. That's all. Get back to it. And so, after working in corporate America for a full year, every day really felt like a task. My motivation wasn't there. My mental health was ass. I mean, like, like ass. And so, after this full year, I, enough was enough. Everything is not planned out exactly how everybody says when you quit your job, you should be. Like, you know how folks be like, Don't quit your job unless you got something coming behind it. How you gonna pay for your bills? What's what your family gonna think when you when you leave this job? And truthfully, I don't know. We gonna see though. Now, personally, I try to do everything with intention. So I didn't necessarily just jump in raw, pause. I put a condom on. Wait a minute. I set up two plans. Two? I don't know. It's not really a plan. It's just two things that I knew I needed to make sure I was set before I left my job. One being finances and the second being future career. So let's unpack the finances. I already knew off rip, based off the calendar, I was getting an extra paycheck in July just because of how the days did. I can't take control of that, that's God. Second part, I work in sales and at my company, we get our commission check at the end of the month. My last day is ding, ding, ding at the end of the month. So I knew that if I grind hard, for my job real quick, turn up, get my commission check. I'm already setting myself up, plus the additional paycheck that I got. I also knew I had one final piece in the puzzle to make sure I was getting all of my coins, and that was through PTO. So if you're unfamiliar with PTO, basically that stands for paid time off, and that's just a whole lot of time that you accrue while you're at a corporation that in the event that, you know what I'm saying, you need to take off, holiday, blah, 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 you can take it off, and you still get paid the same amount. And so I had a crew 80 hours plus of PTO because I'm losing it. And so they gotta give me all of that. That set me up financially to make sure that like, oh nah, like okay, for sure. Like, I'm gonna be straight financially. And I think the rest of it is gonna fall in place. I hope, shit. <laughs> all right, so this leads me to the second part of everything. We have 24 hours in a day. Eight hours of that chunk, you're gonna be spending sleep, assuming that you, you know, sleeping properly and shit. The other eight hours, you're supposed to spend at work, i.e. a nine to five. That leaves you a whole nother eight hours in your day just to fill it up with whatever you wanna do. So, be with your girlfriend, go to the gym, uh, I don't know, social, I don't know what people do in their extra time, but more of the story, niggas got time. And so, if Working is supposed to be 33% of what I do in my entire life. I want to make sure that I'm at least enjoying it. And so that leads me to like the career aspect of what everything that I want to do right now. My heart is in creation. My heart is in marketing. My heart is in the social media space. And I had to really believe in myself that I'm qualified to be here. And so I want to do YouTube for real. Like I know it's been a hella long since y'all have seen me. That's a whole nother conversation that we can cross a whole nother day. But at the end of the day, I want to be in this space, in front of, behind the camera, creating, having a good damn time while I'm doing it. So with that being said, I just started putting a whole lot more energy into my own brand, Nobody Nolan. If you're unfamiliar with my brand, 
Norby Nolan. I do photography, videography, graphic design. I sell merch, sell product, all on my website at www.norbynolan.com. And that space is where I'm about to put a lot more intention in. Yeah, at the end of the day, I just, I know me and where I'm aligned with everything and what I'm working towards. And it's, it's been an uphill battle. Yeah. Um, and so ultimately, that's that's why we're here right now. And that's why, you know, I'm putting my two weeks in. But I'm the first person to tell you, like, listen, follow your dreams. You know, whatever, whatever that is, do it and do it a hundred percent. I know you're super talented. You have many other talents outside of and I always tell you that. I shared your your page with and whatnot, and she's like, why the fuck is he working here? <laughs> <laughs> I kid you not. That was that was her answer. Why the why the fuck is he working here? And I'm like, I, I don't know. I had, I had to believe in myself. That's the answer. Yeah. Um I say that to say, again, follow your passion, follow your dreams. Like, if if this is uh, the reason why you're, you're putting your two weeks in, I can't be even more excited for you. All right, Cam, have a good one. Happy Friday, by the way. All right, happy Friday. Peace. All right, bye. That went surprisingly better than I thought it was. I saw a quote, and it said, the treasure, what did she say? Hold on. Let me pull it up, actually. The cave you fear to enter holds the treasure you see. I'm starting to live by that, man. Like, I'm on that. I'm no longer just putting myself in a position to be, you know, afraid of everything. I want what I want, and truthfully, I gotta go get it. Nobody's gonna want it for me. Nobody's gonna get it for me. So let's do it. If you're excited to see where this journey of life is taking me, make sure you do me a huge favor. Like this video. One, so I know that you like the content and I keep going. Two, YouTube algorithm know that like, nah, he doing some fire stuff over at Cameron Markell and we're gonna keep promoting his stuff, keep putting him out there, keep getting him at the top of the feed just so people can see this. Cause I know that like, or at least I feel like a lot of the times I'm doing things and I feel so isolated, but truth of the matter is, I know a lot of people feel the same way that I feel. And I feel like if we don't have enough people speaking on it, then nobody's gonna have uh, you know, a solution to their problems. So make sure you subscribe and turn that bell on. Keep supporting me. I appreciate y'all more than y'all know. And let's get this journey, man. Like, uh, eh, you know, we all figuring it out. 22 having fun. Let's get it. You know when I touch down, I'm beating this shit out the box. I know I've been gone too long. I'm finna come home. I'm finna come sex you.